about something called shibari. Shibari is where they hang you from the ceiling with ropes. And there was a woman there, and she was explaining the concept of shibari to me. And there was something kind of interesting as she was telling me about this. She weighed 350 pounds. No judgment, no judgment. Um, but I kind of wondered, how do you get a 350 pound woman all the way up there? Did they use like robes? Were they using like pulleys? Was this kind of like Jews building the pyramids in Egypt? Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's the sound I make when I go to school. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but, I, you know, I get it. We're, we're in 2023. Some, some people are like, that's terrible. That's terrible you said that. Fat phobia. Fat phobic. But here's my question. Is it fat phobia or is it about choices? So I make a choice to come here to do comedy. Usually I put people to sleep and if I'm very lucky, I might offend somebody. <laughs> she decides she's gonna be strung up and hung from the ceiling like a pinata. Cool, choices. You know, but she's not just a heavy set woman. She's a woman, she has personality. She has, you know, there are things about her. So she had this t-shirt, the t-shirt said, Flaming Butch on it. Flaming Butch. And I looked at it and I, talk, I, I thought two things. First of all, that's not how you spell bitch. Second, <laughs> if you're gonna wear a t-shirt that says Butch on it, you better not give a fuck what anybody thinks. And it's kind of funny because she did seem a little bit sensitive. So I was thinking, you know, Maybe she should get a t-shirt that says, like, emotionally fragile Flaming Butch. <laughs> Maybe they didn't have that one in the store. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it was interesting. As it turned out, her husband was there. She said, meet my, mus meet my husband. He looked at me, he said, hi. I said, hello. He said, I'm a sadist. <laughs> I looked at his wife and I was like, yeah, no kidding, buddy. <laughs> um, and then, uh, you know, she started to tell me more about herself. And it was very interesting because it turned out that she was a fat activist. I said, oh, that's, that's very cool. I've, I've never met a fat activist before. And it was a little ironic because in this S&M dungeon, it turned out that there was an Oreo and Twizzler snack section. And it literally only had Oreo, Twizzler, and Dr. Pepper. I kind of went in there a little bit, and I kind of looked around, and I'm like, you know, um, this is not cool, but, you know, okay, this is interesting, but uh, do you guys have anything here that doesn't have sugar in it? The woman handed me a leather whip. <laughs> Thanks. But uh, this is kind of where things get a little bit, you know, interesting. The woman, at one point, she turned to her husband, Mr. Sadist. She puts his finger in his face and she says, we are getting our booster vaccine on Thursday. Because what about my health? And I was kind of like, what about your weight? I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's just kind of like, okay, um, you're gonna live this lifestyle of like Oreos, vaccine, diet, fat activist, but you don't kind of get to have it both ways, you know? You don't really get to eat your cake and have it too. Um, it's kind of funny for me because like, uh, uh, so I was born in India and like the whole thing is, is like, there's no reward for being yourself. You know, if you get to be yourself, that's it, that's the reward, you get to be yourself. You don't necessarily get understanding, you don't necessarily get compassion, unfortunately. Like, okay, I was born in India, um, Border Patrol thinks I'm Mexican, TSA thinks I'm Muslim. And, you know, one time even somebody called me the N-word. Irony of ironies, it was a Mexican. <laughs> I was like, do you work for the cops? Right. But here's the whole point of it. Is it fat phobia or is it actually about choices?
All right, folks, I'm Param, and that's my son. Thank you, guys.